Emancipation was directed by Antoine Fuqua and stars Will Smith and Ben Foster and I'm very excited to give you guys my review for this movie. If you've seen it, be sure to leave a comment what you thought about it as well be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Now let's get into this review. This movie is based off a true story of Peter, a runaway slave who forges through the swamps of Louisiana to escape the plantation owners that nearly killed him and to return to his family. So I was really excited to check out this movie. I saw the trailer a little while ago. I thought it looked really good. I was very excited to see it. I'm a big Will Smith fan. I just thought the movie looked like it was going to be a real like heavy hitting drama. and. I don't know a whole lot about this actual story. I know of the photo that was taken on Peter that's very famous. I've seen that photo uh, before, so I knew that, but I didn't know the actual story, so I can't say how accurate this movie is, but I'm just gonna judge this movie based on what I thought of it besides how accurate it is. And Honestly, I was kind of disappointed in this movie. There were definitely parts of this movie that I thought were really good, but a big chunk of it was just, I was kind of surprising. This is sort of what they went for. And what I mean by that was like a big chunk of this movie is Peter played by Will Smith trying to escape the uh, slave owners by going through the swamps of Louisiana. That's a big chunk of this movie and it got really repetitive after a while. It kept feeling like, okay, he's running through the swamps, he's getting close to being caught again, he escapes or they don't notice him, he's running through the swamps, they come close to him again, he manages to get away or they don't see him again. And there's a lot of that going through a good chunk of this movie which made it feel very repetitive and made the pacing feel slow and this movie's around two hours, 10 minutes, two hours and 12 minutes and it, it felt long because that middle section which was or maybe the majority of this movie even felt like that and there were even parts of that section where it's like i think they could have just taken this out entirely because it felt so unnecessary like there's a scene and you see it in the trailer at least the one i watched where he fights an alligator and i watched and i'm like did that really need to be in there like i can i can get they want to maybe show gators around because there's gators in that part of the world but it's like I think if you took that scene out, it would have made no difference to the movie and it just felt like it was making the runtime longer, which it didn't need because to me the movie felt too long because of how repetitive, repetitive this movie felt at times. There were definitely scenes within that section that were good. There was a, a scene with Ben Foster's character where he's given this monologue to get a bit of backstory on him. And I thought that scene was great. I thought he gave a really good performance. Ben Foster and Will Smith both gave really good performances in this. So that scene was great. There's another scene with Will Smith where that involves a burning house. I thought that scene was very good. And there were some scenes more initially in that chunk of the movie when they're trying to escape and they're running away that were good before it started to get more repetitive. And there's times when things that are repetitive in movies don't bother me, but in this movie it was starting to bother me how repetitive it started to feel and it just dragged down the pacing of this movie. The final act for me picked it up a little bit. Some of the cinematography was great and how they handled some of the battle scenes in the final act I thought was really well done. And there's a great scene uh, with Will Smith where he's given this speech of all the stuff he's dealt with and how he's like still here he is not broken yet that scene i thought was great the performance will smith gave in that moment i thought was excellent so for me this movie has great scenes throughout unfortunately the movie itself just i think didn't live up to its potential and again i don't know this actual story to know if they're trying to stay very accurate or if they're taking a lot of liberties, I don't know. Um, but I think if they manage to just trim things down so there was a shorter runtime so it could move faster and it wasn't as repetitive, I think it would have been stronger. And my other big issue was, unfortunately, this movie, the way it started, like it started, like things were going pretty quickly. But with the script, it didn't give me at least, and I, f I think other people might feel the same way from what I've uh, read online. It's, um, 
it didn't give me a chance to really feel connected with the main character, which you kind of want that in this kind of movie because it's a, it's a heavy movie at times and you want to really feel for the character, which you do at times. And I started to feel a bit more for him in the end of the movie, but at the start of the movie, because I think it was just moving too fast that I just didn't get a chance to really connect with the character. And then it went into the escaping, running through the swamps. And there's very little dialogue in that chunk of the movie, which, which is fine. But at that point, I've not really been connected yet. So it's harder to be invested. And like, there's definitely times it's easy to feel like really sad and be kind of sick at what you're watching because it was horrible but just on a movie level being connected with the characters I found at the start it didn't really do a great job of making me feel connected with the characters which some of their movies have done a really great job like another a great movie is 12 years of slaves I think that movie did a great job of doing that this one didn't quite do that at least at the start it, I started to feel a bit more of that at the end of the movie when I felt like I was getting a bit more detail on what the character or what Peter had gone through. So because of that, I was pretty let down by this movie. Like I said, there are great moments throughout. The performances by Will Smith and Ben Foster I thought were great. The cinematography was great. I think on a technical level, this movie is very good. But I think this the story, the script kind of held it down a little bit and just the repetitiveness of that middle portion of this movie just really weighed it down for me, unfortunately, that I was left pretty disappointed with it. But I can see this movie being one that some people will quite enjoy just for me. Unfortunately, it didn't quite do it for me, but I wanted to love it. For me, I would give this movie a 59%. If you guys have seen this movie, let me know what you thought about it. Maybe you loved it, which is great. I really wanted to. It wasn't for me, unfortunately. Or maybe you're like me who was disappointed in it. Let me know your thoughts. So I'll be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. And stay tuned for some more reviews coming soon. And until my next video, take care, everybody.